So here's where we left off last time. At the Blitz at Snarlton. Wendy's Blitz Snarlton. Oh, whoops. I seem to have opened the save game menu. Uh-oh. Accidentally. Well, okay. There, there we go. Evil coins. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end up taking a while on just this stage, just remembering how to fucking land on enemies when the controls are this shit. Mm -hmm. Of course, freaking the coins are the annoying thing, and I did look into it a little bit, and uh, I actually could have done the thing by oh. now in this hotel oh. to get rid of them. So, that's aggravating. Did you miss it then, or...? Uh, they always show up several times. Like, even the one okay. in Ludwig's Castle, where it was just a blank wall, there are several stages that have a blank wall like that with the door just there. And, like, the... All of the ones that I did find, like the... The Cloudland one. Yeah. That one, like, I was seeing the... The clouds. The cloud puffs for a while before I actually got to uh, grab the door. Also, while I was editing the footage, I noticed what the deal was with those. Because, like, there were three cloud puffs. Yeah. Uh, one of them was smiling. That's the oh. one that had the uh, actual fan button door behind it. <laughs> so what is the... Uh... Uh, this... yeah, yeah, this... Fucking bullshit. So what were you saying? Uh, I was going to ask, what uh, is the signal for the correct place to go? So I'm not 100% certain for here. I know that there's like a cash register sound that you hear. I okay. did not see any... I, I have no idea what exactly that means. I know that the cash register signal has to be the, the signal that the the door is on this, you know, this stage somewhere. But, again, I, I was looking through my footage and I could not find any visual indicator on any of the doors for where it is. But, like, from, from my looking around, the cash register sound is the indicator. Okay. Also, a thing that I found while I was um, going back for the the thing in Ludwig's, yeah, because of course I, I had to replay half of the game to get back there. Yes, is that uh, sometimes that you'll get power ups by opening doors that started out closed. <laughs> There was, there was one stage in uh, Ludwig's Hotel that actually, um, there's the entire bottom floor had four doors that were all closed initially and, like, nothing, no enemies spawned from them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you go down, like, you never actually have to go down to that floor to clear the stage. But if you do, every one of those doors has a power-up. So you can get Mushroom and then Fire Flower and then two extra lives. All right. First half cleared. I hate that there's two halves to stages now. Yep. I just picked up one of those coins before it finished turning into an enemy. 
<laughs> That's very interesting. Because, like, I saw it was clearly doing the animation to turn into the enemy, but then it got collected. And so it just vanished. Yeah. So that's, I guess, a thing that I can do. Whatever, just rush it. I got it. Good. Lost the extra hit there, but hey. Stage six cleared. That. Did you hear that? Yes. So this stage has the, uh, the thing. And I believe it does get, like, slightly randomized for, uh, these, but... Hmm. I'm wondering if the door is even, like, accessible before the signal. Like, does it spawn at the start of the stage, or does it spawn randomly during the stage? Hmm. That I'm not certain of. Maybe it's on this floor. So I don't have to worry. Well, entering that door gave me a fire flower randomly. Well, time to burn everything. Let me just, like, start checking these doors down here. Each one seems to spawn two coins when I open it. Great. Where is this stupid room? I'm trying. There's nothing... I am pressing the open door button constantly here, and nothing's okay. happening. Okay. Here we go. So this is where Wendy's hit the real coin. All right, there. Enemies no longer become pennies. Coins no longer become pennies. And going in there seems to have reset my timer, which is nice. Unexpected. Well, maybe not fully reset. It certainly added some amount to the time. Mm -hmm. And I'll have a fire flower for the second half. 
And uh, fire flyers can kill mecha coopers. Yep. Fires are great. Now, every time I see coins coming out of a door, I'm going to be happy because it's not enemies. Yeah. Yeah, this, this half was trivialized by having fire. And no coin enemies. Good. So I guess that's a thing, that if I ever lose this fire, I should just start going in random doors that were closed at the start of the game. And look for power-ups. Because, uh, seems like it's really important to have power-ups. Yeah. First half. Oh man, is the stage gonna be like all pennies? Pennies and pennies and paracoopas. Paracoopas, yeah. yeah, it seems to be like entirely just paracoopas. not as good for paracoopas as for other enemy types, but it's still working. Still allows you to deal with them safely. Still really annoying that you have to push both buttons, because sometimes it doesn't register one of them. Yeah, it's like this game system needed more than two buttons. In an age where, you know, there was the Super Nintendo, which had seven. That weren't start and select. Or the D-pad. Yeah. Damn. Damn it. Damn it! <laughs> Edge of the stage! I was just trying to move slightly past that door so I would have some... Whoa, what the fuck? What happened? I entered that door and all the enemies on screen just died. Cool. Maybe that was supposed to be another piggy bank room? Is this how it's a puzzle game? Are there random things that there is no indication of anywhere in the game or manual that sometimes you go in a door and just win? It's certainly very puzzling. <laughs> I'm going I'm going to have to like try going in almost every door now because apparently you just get ridiculous shit for entering random doors. <laughs> Damn it. 
Well, let's see if that's a thing that happens again. It was the bottom right door of the first half of the stage. That just... Yeah, you go in and everything just dies. And I guess I got a one-up as well? And a mushroom spawns. Sure. Is, is that the debug door? <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, every time. It's just, that's, that's what that door does. It's the nuke door. Of course, the stupid thing breaks down in front of a door. Okay, I finally fucking cleared stage nine. Time for Wendy. Oh boy. Wendy's sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet, you're so sweet. She's got a parasol. Ah, deadly kisses! They open the doors. The hearts open the doors. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, God, she whoa. does kung fu! Okay. Also, we seem to have gone back to the gimmick where, uh... The elevators, they no longer ding to swap locations. But they go multiple floors. Yeah. Well, hey, I just died. That was the first part of the fight, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they, they go multiple floors and they're unlabeled. Still, so. Looks like they have lots of money in them. Yeah, I'm just seeing if there's, like, any power-ups along in here. Doors for ages waiting for the. <laughs> so one of the things with this game, I actually did did a bit of reading of uh, about this game. Mm -hmm. So one of the things with development of this game was that uh, everyone involved was like very old yeah because that's that's who they had at their their company and uh so you know all of their testers were like retiree age yeah and you know, i thought okay well the players are going to be young kids but our testers are older they don't have as quick reaction speeds so we're going to, to tool the game so that it works for them, for our testers, and then just speed it up. <laughs> so that's one of the many reasons why things are weird and jank. And like, skip large areas of pixel because they were animated and designed to move much slower. It's 
also why time is not in seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I bet you that's how it originally was, that the timer did count down in actual seconds. So that's a gauge for how much they sped it up after finishing development. Because the, the kids. Go away, go away, go away. 92. Get Alright. I knocked her out, and she's immediately back. Wow. She Okay. Hitting her is a bad idea. Because then she stops doing her turret mode. Because then she, she just charges and constantly opens doors as she charges. It's the real problem. If I just... No, no, she will... Okay, she enters doors to kill you. No That's fear. not a behavior any of the Koopalings have had. Before. Entering elevators, yes, but doors, no. Yeah. That's new. It's halfway across the screen. You know, I'm also kind of wondering. Mm -hmm. Did they speed up everything, or did they just speed up, like, the game and not the animations? Because I could absolutely believe that they sped up the game, but they didn't equally speed up the animations for Mario entering the, the elevator and moving around and shit. Mm-hmm. Because, like, these, these were people who explicitly had no experience with game dev. Or, like, really anything relevant. Sound seems to have died. Well, now we have partial sound. This game is breaking apart at the <laughs> seams. Bob. Look, love is a battlefield. Also, these hearts have wings, so they are clearly actually demons. Wendy is some kind of... demonologist. Some kind of Devil Forge Master, perhaps. That's a different series. Shit, shit, shit. Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> We have beaten the Blitz Snarlton. Now we get to watch a cartoon! Let's see if this was worth it. That wasn't so hard, was it?